Today we're taking a moment to remember those we've lost. People who touched our lives in ways we'll always cherish. But today, we have list of iconic stars who have left us. Legends somehow contributed their work ended up passing away. Let's come together to honor their memory. So in their honor, we're asking you to join us to like and subscribe this channel as a tribute to those we've lost. Let's keep their spirit alive by spreading kindness and joy. Shelley Duvall, the actress who starred in several Robert Altman films and evaded an axe-swinging Jack Nicholson in Stanley Kubrick's The Shining, died due to complications from diabetes at the age of 75. In Fort Worth, Texas, Duvall was discovered by Robert Altman, who cast her in his 1970 film, Brewster McCloud. The film would mark the first of seven projects that the pair would work on together over the next seven years, including 1975's Nashville, 1977's Three Women, and 1980's Popeye. She also etched her name into horror history as Wendy Torrance in The Shining, a taxing role that saw her star opposite Jack Nicholson. Outside of film, Duvall also created, hosted, and executive produced several popular children's television programs throughout the 1980s, including Fairy Tale Theater, Nightmare Classics, and Tall Tales and Legends. She retired from acting in 2002, before appearing in a controversial Dr. Phil episode where she revealed that she'd been struggling with her mental health. However, over two decades after saying farewell to Hollywood, Duvall returned to star in the 2023 indie horror film, The Forest Hills. Tribute to the Star Benji Gregory, who rose to fame as a child star on ALF, died after suffering from heat stroke his sister told the New York Times at the age of 46. Benjamin Hertzberg on May 26, 1978 in Los Angeles, Calif. Gregory quickly became a busy child actor after landing a role in the hit sitcom at eight years old. He rose to fame, playing Brian Tanner across 101 episodes of ALF, which premiered in 1986. The NBC sitcom chronicled life with an alien who lived with a suburban family. The series ran for four seasons. Gregory is also known for roles in The Twilight Zone, The A-Team, T.J. Hooker, Fantasy Island, and Murphy Brown. He made several appearances as an orphan named Dash in Punky Brewster, and was also featured in Whoopi Goldberg's 1986 spy comedy Jumpin' Jack Flash. Gregory's voiceover work included Pound Puppies, Fantastic Max, the Back to the Future TV series, and his last credit, a voice role in 1993's Once Upon a Forest. Gregory left Hollywood after his early acting career and enlisted in the U.S. Navy, where he graduated to become an aerographer's mate, specializing in meteorology and oceanography. Tribute to the Star Ray Stevenson, the Irish actor who played the Asgardian warrior Volstagg in the Thor movies, and the anti-hero Frank Castle in Punisher Warzone, died May 21st at 58. Stevenson began his acting career in the 1990s, appearing in a string of TV shows before making his big-screen debut in Paul Greengrass's romantic drama The Theory of Flight. A role in the HBO drama, Rome introduced him to a wider U.S. audience, and he went on to star in King Arthur Punisher, Warzone, Kill the Irishman, Thor, Thor, Ragnarok, RRR, The Divergent Films, and G.I. Joe, Retaliation. Stevenson also voiced Gar Saxon on Star Wars, Rebels, and The Clone Wars. His posthumous credits include the Disney Plus series Ahsoka and the movies Casino in Ischia and Gateway to the West. Tribute to the Star Tina Turner, the legendary singer often dubbed the Queen of Rock and Roll, died May 24th at 83. 
She first achieved musical success in the 60s and 70s as part of a duo with then-husband Ike Turner, but divorced him in 1976 after years of verbal and physical abuse. In the 80s, Turner reinvented herself as a global rock superstar with songs like What's Love Got To Do With It, Let's Stay Together, and The Best. Turner performed in films like 1975's Tommy and 1985's Mad Max Beyond Thunderdome, while her 1986 memoir I, Tina inspired the 1993 biopic What's Love Got To Do With It, which earned Angela Bassett an Oscar nomination for her portrayal of the musician. Turner's life and legacy also inspired the jukebox musical Tina, which premiered in London in 2018. Tribute to the Star Leon Echasso, the Cuban-American writer and director behind El Super, Pinero, and Bitter Sugar, died May 20th at 74. His other notable film credits included El Cantante, the 2006 Hector Laveau biographical drama starring Mark Anthony and Jennifer Lopez, and the 2009 family thriller Paraíso starring Miguel Gutierrez and Adrián Mas. Ichasso also directed dozens of high-profile TV projects, including episodes of Saturday Night Live, The Original Equalizer, Miami Vice, Medium, Criminal Minds, Prodigal Son, and Queen of the South. Tribute to the Star Martin Amos, the British author best known for his trilogy of novels Money, A Suicide Note, London Fields, and The Information, died May 19th at 73, following a battle with esophageal cancer. Over the course of his career, Amos published more than 30 works of fiction and nonfiction, alongside several essay collections, short stories, screenplays, and a 2000 memoir titled Experience. Amis' novels also served as inspiration for several films, including 1989's The Rachel Papers, 2000's Dead Babies, 2018's Out of the Blue, and The Zone of Interest, which debuted at the 2023 Cannes International Film Festival on the day of his death. Tribute to the Star George Maharis, the actor best known for his role as Buzz Murdoch on the 1960 drama series Route 66, died May 24th at the age of 94, his longtime friend and caregiver Mark Bahan told The Hollywood Reporter. His part in the crime drama, a spin-off of Naked City, in which he also starred, earned him an Emmy nomination and led to roles in other TV series, including Search for Tomorrow, Love Story, Journey to the Unknown, the Most Deadly Game, The Bionic Woman, Police Story, and Fantasy Island. His movie credits include Quick Before It Melts, Sylvia, A Covenant with Death, The Happening, The Sword and the Sorcerer, and Doppelganger. Maharis also recorded a few albums early in his career, with his 1962 single Teach Me Tonight charting on the Billboard Hot 100. Tribute to the Star Sergio Calderon, a veteran character actor best known for his appearances in the Pirates of the Caribbean and Men in Black franchises, died on May 31st at 77. The Mexican-born actor starred as Captain Eduardo Villanueva in the 2007 film Pirates of the Caribbean at World's End and as Jose, who was secretly just a head on a stick operated by an undercover alien in 1997's Men in Black. Before becoming Captain Villanova, Calderon also played river pirate El Cajon, as well as bandit Malavita Valdez in several episodes of The A-Team from 1983 to 1984. His other credits include roles in 2003's The Missing, the 2008 horror film The Ruins, and 2010's Little Fockers, alongside Ben Stiller, Robert De Niro, Barbara Streisand, 
and more. Tribute to the Star Award-winning songwriter Cynthia Weil died June 1st at the age of 82. Weil, who built a career co-writing hits with husband Barry Mann, was responsible for songs such as On Broadway, Uptown, and Here It Comes Again. She and Mann co-wrote The Righteous Brothers. You've lost that loving feeling, which has been credited as one of the 20th century's most played songs on radio and television. Well also co-wrote Somewhere Out There, the Oscar-nominated track from An American Tale. Her songwriting partnership and relationship with Mann was chronicled in Beautiful, the Carole King musical, recounting her early days as a songwriter working in the legendary Brill Building in New York City. Tribute to the Star Mike Bataille, the actor and comedian best known for his role on Breaking Bad, died June 1st of a heart attack at the age of 52. Born in Detroit, Bataille moved to L.A. to pursue his acting career, though his family said he always kept in touch with his Michigan roots. His comedy career took him as far as the Middle East, where he performed at the Amman Stand-Up Comedy Festival in Jordan two years in a row. Bataille showed up on shows like It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia and The Shield over the course of his career. But his most prominent performance was as Dennis Markowski, the manager of Gus Fring's industrial laundromat on Breaking Bad. Tribute to the Star Anna Shea, the heiress who rose to fame on the Netflix reality series Bling Empire, died June 5th at the age of 62. The daughter of late billionaire Edward Shea, founder of the American Defense and Government Services contractor, Pacific Architects and Engineers, Shea appeared on all three seasons of Bling Empire, which followed a group of wildly wealthy Asian and Asian Americans as they navigated life, love, and glamour in Los Angeles. Tribute to the Star. Carrie Ann Donaldson, a former contestant on Britain's Got Talent, died at the age of 38. She performed on the talent show as part of the dance group Kings and Queens, which reached the season eight semifinals in 2014. Donaldson also worked as a choreographer on The Masked Dancer UK. Tribute to the Star. Actor Michael Douglas has created a public service announcement for the Oral Cancer Foundation to raise awareness about the importance of annual screenings for oral cancer. This PSA aims to educate the public about detecting oral cancer early, which significantly improves survival rates. The announcement will be aired nationwide from June through autumn. In 2016, about 40 to 250 Americans will be diagnosed with oral cancer, which can develop in the mouth, or a pharynx, or on the lips. Oral cancer is typically caused by tobacco and alcohol use, or the HPV-16 virus, which also causes most cervical cancers. However, an increasing number of young non-smokers are being diagnosed with oral cancer. Unlike many other cancers, oral cancer rates have been rising over the past six years, and HPV-related oral cancers are expected to surpass cervical cancers soon. Early detection of oral cancer is crucial, as it can be highly treatable. Unfortunately, many cases are discovered at advanced stages due to lack of awareness and infrequent screenings, leading to a high death rate. Annual screenings have successfully reduced death rates from cancers such as cervical, skin, and prostate, and could do the same for oral cancer if they became routine. Michael Douglas was diagnosed with stage IV oral cancer in 2010 after persistent throat pain. After undergoing extensive treatment, 
He is now cancer-free, but continues to have regular checkups. OCF founder Brian Hill, also an oral cancer survivor, praised Douglas for his openness about his illness, which has raised public awareness. Douglas's involvement with the OCF is expected to encourage more people to undergo screenings, avoid risk factors, and ultimately save lives. Thank you for joining us on episode of Fame Story TV, where we remember and pay tribute to the lives and stories of remarkable people who have left us today. If this video touched your heart, please consider honoring their memory by giving it a thumbs up and subscribing to our channel. See you in the next episode.